right, this is the moment that every mixed martial arts athlete hopes will materialize. The number one heavyweight contender making the walk for his first title fight here in the U.S. I mean, the nerves are going crazy for this man right now. He's so nervous. Has he done everything he needs to do? Has he not left any stone unturned? He says that he has prepared. He says that his body's ready. His mind's ready. He feels physically good in the spot. He's taking on a long-rated champion. If he's going to get this done, it's going to take something truly special. He does not believe jitters will be a factor here tonight. He has built his career methodically to this point. We'll see if we hear the words and do. special place this venue holds a special place in my heart ufc 226 i became the double champion this is a fight venue that you should want to compete in a great arena where you can make history tonight you get your chance well you saw us reference it in the tail of the tape dc he's got the reach advantage and certainly made good use of it there in landing that check very fast like lance the leg kick. to go now. Oh, nice check on the leg kick offering there. Oh, nice. Big body kick. Well, champ, I don't see that well, but it's hard to miss the redness underneath that elbow. A lot of bodily investment from his opponent tonight. Yeah, it's an investment, John. It may not pay dividends right now, but the more you go there, the more damage you do, eventually it will show itself. Right now, it's starting to show. Missed with that right hand. Nice defense to block that punch. Big power shot there.
Just over two minutes to go in the round. Oh, no pad on the foot. That's a solid kick right there. Real quick leg kick. Lands a good series of kicks here. Oh, and so now he lands another combination, so it's never just one shot. There's always two or three coming behind. A lot of times, people throw singular strikes. Not this, gentlemen. This man is stringing four, five, six in a row. What a great job. Well, that strike landed cleanly. Ooh, nice uppercut from the champ. Again, he's looking for that left. It's not there. Great job blocking that punch. Oh, how technical is that? Nice straight punch. Under a minute to go in the round. He's got that jab working nicely done. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Well, he's been good tonight, but he missed with that one. Nice. Nicely done. Seconds left. We got the turn in that kick. Round one winding down here. Stuffs the takedown. No problem. Full shot for the end of round one. All right, let's take a look back at some of the replays from that last round. Unbelievable to see these high-level competitors get in each other's face, tuck their chin, bite down on the mouth guard, and just let it all hang out over the course of five minutes. Ready to fight? Ready. Second round underway. All right, here we go as our next round gets underway. That was some serious precision striking on display in the previous round. Found his openings upstairs and closed the show. He has landed at an alarming rate. His opponent needs to get his head off the center line. He's walking into him with his head straight up, not moving, trying to engage without changing the angles. That is why he is getting brutalized right now. Just missed with the leg kick. Oh, he lands another debilitating strike to the body, and he continues to punish his opponent's midsection. Had a lot of success with it in the previous round, and picking up exactly where he left off. I give one, I take one. You give one, you take one. That's how this fight is being played out. It's a pretty good jab. He is going after that overhand right. Straight right is there. Nice punch lands over the top. Oh, flying knee to the head. Look at the torso on the right side. Major bruising and it's only getting worse. Single collar tie now. All right now, a little separation between the two fighters. Oh, wow. How about the roundhouse kick? Just over three minutes to go in round two. Oh, and he lands another strike to the body. Not a ton of real estate there, but he certainly found it. Nice D. 
Well, you can see his leg is hurt here, starting to limp a little bit. I think Magomed Ankalaev is the guy we point to for exuding all of that toughness when he absorbed those leg kicks, but don't want to take too many more of those. But like Magomed, you want to try to get takedowns. You cannot be on your feet limping and turning away from strikes. You got to try and change something. job staying at range and dictating the fight landing punches like that man as he landed a high volume of strikes here in round two definitely picking up the pace after round one so we got the message from the corner and now he is taking control of this second round under two minutes now to go oh inside kick Trying to go to the body here, unable to find the target. Massive head kick. Keep going again. Do it again. That is. Oh man, this dude is good. Well, DC, headgear's not allowed, but he has raised the hands and he's doing a nice job protecting the dunk. He's doing a great job of blocking his head. A lot of times, those shots to the head will knock you out. Not this time. This guy's making sure nothing lands. Nice head kick. Man. Well, at this point, he's got to be way up on the judges' scorecards, clearly winning the fight, and largely has gotten it done with his striking time. He got it done with his strike. He fought well behind the jab, but it was a significant strike that really did make an impact on the judges' mind. Ah, oh, he's been working hard defensively. Kick block there. Nice straight punch there. Establishing the jab. Back and forth we go. 30 seconds to go in the round. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Right hook attempt. That's a miss. The fighters separate. Final seconds here. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. How they separate. Oh. Ten minutes in the book. Oh. Stop, stop, stop. All right, we now take a look back at some of the highlights from that last round, DC. A lot for the replay guys to choose from. I mean, these guys are going to be very busy trying to find what replay to show you guys. Lands on both sides of the octagon. Both guys fought great. What a phenomenal round. You ready to fight? You ready? Let's do it. Round three of a possible five. All right, so as this next round gets underway, hopefully the good action we saw in the last round will continue. Both fighters certainly had their ups and downs. Both got the offense going. But now we'll see if one fighter or the other can really take control of what has been a very close fight thus far. Well, just as he did in the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes. And a good sign, too, doesn't seem to be slowing down whatsoever. on the side underneath the elbow. He told us he was going to invest in the body, and he hasn't missed a whole lot tonight. You didn't expect him to do it this effectively. He's done a fantastic job of following the game plan. That was a beautiful head kick. Nice straight right, Lance. Oh, another beautiful body shot there. You see the damage starting to accumulate. Maybe some defense would be wise at this point in the fight. I think so, John. You can't just get beat up to the body. It doesn't show itself right away. It takes time 
whenever you're beating somebody up from the body and working your way up to the head. But right now, we're starting to see the damage, and you see it not only in the body, but in the reactions of the opponent. So nice. Another nice kick there. Solid series of kicks. They're all landing now. Just over three minutes now to go. He closes this distance beautifully. He's got a single collar tie. Oh, he just continues to pour it on. He has been aggressive all night long with his striking. Got to be careful here to not empty the gas tank. So far, so good, though, in this round. Nice job defensively. He blocked that punch. We passed the midpoint here of the fight. and he certainly showed it there in landing that straight punch. Whiffs on the right hand. Oh, and he countered him there with a beautiful straight right hand. Blocks the shot to the bottom. Seconds to go. Well, no denying that he rocked him, but couldn't quite get the finish. He hurt him real bad, but he couldn't find the shot that would put him to sleep. He threw a lot of punches, but he couldn't get the one to land on the butt that would end the night. Oh, nasty cut right on the bridge of the nose. He is bleeding. That punch no good. Oh, heavy kick downstairs. You can catch a body kick, but you gotta step off to the side. You just can't take it clean. Defense. Well, one got through. That kick was blocked. All right, 45 seconds now to go in the round. Back and forth we go. That opened up a cut above the eye here. Oh, rips the body shot there. Oh, body kick attempt here. It's no good. Under 20 seconds now to go. Good defense. All right, he engages in the single follow tie. Counters now left hook to the head lands. Yes, the single collar tie now. All right, three rounds down, potentially two more to go. We are headed to the championship rounds. All right, so the round is over, and you see the cut man not wasting any time as the fighter makes his way back to the stool. The cut man will try to shut that cut on the bridge of his nose and prevent it from becoming a factor here moving forward. All right, let's now look back at some of the action from that round. He went headhunting, landed, Nearly got the finish, too. A lot of coaches tell you don't headhunt. In this case, he's been headhunting, and he landed a big enough shot to truly put his opponent on notice. You ready to fight? You ready? We have arrived at the fourth round fight schedule for five five-minute rounds. All right, so here we go with our fourth round of a possible five, and a lot of fighters change up their training camp when they're fighting five rounds versus two. Yeah, you gotta change it up. You have to mix things up, because fighting for an extra 10 minutes is not normal. Guys don't do this normally. It's a 15-minute fight, so you have to do things physically and also mentally to make sure that you're ready to go to that extra 10 minutes. Strong Wolf with the inside leg kick. Head kick, that's a miss. 
right, so now his body language really starting to change and the bruises starting to accumulate on that side. I mean, you're looking at it, right? When you can visibly see the damage on the body, you know that the work has been done. What a beautiful game plan put together by this team. There's his jab. Big shot lands for both guys. Oh, big roundhouse attempt just misses. That could have been lights out. Well, it's been a wild fight thus far. Perhaps a contender for some bonus money at fight's end. These guys are going to have to dig deep. They're both hurt. They're both hurt. You expected it, though. You expected a close fight. You did not expect a war like this, though, where both guys, from the moment they said fight, went forward, got in each other's face, and just beat each other up. It's been tremendous. Beautiful jab there by the champ. That jab is fast. Look at that jab. Just over three minutes to go. Let's work, guys. Nice liver shot, lands. Nice kick. Huge elbow there. Oh! That D, that D hurt him. Well, it's all pace and pressure. Oh, no! Punch over the top. Sidekick. He just hurt him with a left hook. Yep. Just over two minutes now to go. Oh, uppercut. Just misses with the left hook. Hands up, hands up. Well, we wondered earlier why there weren't as many body strikes. He's making up for lost time here. Shot to the body connects, and that bear's watching. That's going to hurt this opponent. So the blood really starting to flow. Every time that area gets targeted, that cut's getting worse. Oh, he hurt him again, though. Oh, he might be out. Now the damage is about to start. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. On a minute to go. All right, inside his opponent's guard here, DC. You don't want to play around here too long. No, you got to either have two hands in or two hands out. Or guys start to attack triangle. Outstanding knee the body there. He's the taller fighter. Might as well put that size to good use, and he certainly did so there. Nice body shot. That was a nice transition. That was right off the strike into the takedown, and it looked effortless. It did not look like he had to work hard to finish his takedown at all. Oh, nice job by him there to move into half guard. Not much resistance from the bottom fight. He's just too good in this position. Look for ground and pound immediately. Oh, nice. Ten seconds to go in round four. Side control here, DC. You know, he's got a lot of different submissions in his arsenal once this fight gets to the ground. What a round it was for him, DC. And, of course, the seminal moment, that big knockdown that he will try to piggyback on here in this next round. Yeah, it's going to be interesting to see how he builds off of the momentum that he gets from that last round. How does he deal with the success that he had and not push too hard too early trying to find the finish. You have to let it come to you as the knockdown came to you in the previous round.
All right, let's check out some of the action from that previous round, DC, and what a display on the feet. Huge knockdown with that kick. Yeah, he's a high-level striker. He throws these kicks to the body, he throws them low, but when he goes up top, he's very powerful, and he can end anybody's night. The toughness displayed by his opponent allowed him to stay in the fight, but he cannot take many more of those types of strikes. Just missed with that right hand. Beautiful technique on the straight right hand. Situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Fight back! Fight back! Well, he grounded him and now he's trying to pound him out. Great ground strikes here. Big ground and pound. All right, he's got him in the north south position here, DC. When you're in this position, however rare it may be, what are you trying to do? I'm just trying to lay on. I'm just trying to cut air from going to your body. I'm just trying to make you carry my weight. I don't necessarily want to be here. And I don't know if this guy wants to be here right now. He will use this to try to get to the next position. You don't want to be there for more reasons than one. I don't want to be there. I don't want to be there on the bottom. <laughs> He's tired. Both guys are. They've worked hard. Trying the fly. Huge leather kick. That might do it. Oh, he's hurt. <laughs> nice job by the defensive fighter. Three, two, three. Just over three minutes now to go in the fight. <laughs> Throwing that jab now again. The fighter evades. All right, well, it's late in the fight. Time is of the essence, and when you're clearly losing and you know you need a finish, risk management. Another one! That'll do it! The assault, a flurry of punches, most of them upstairs, and when those big shots land repeatedly, the referee has no choice but to step in and call the fight. Not every day you see a fight end due to a body kick like that. He used a lot of body work to slow down his opponent. Once his opponent slowed down, he was able to really impose his will on him and get the finish in such a high-profile fight. All right, here one more time, the veteran voice is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 19 seconds of round number five. Declaring the winner by TKO.